Hey guys, welcome to Baker Creek. Uh, we're here uh, with a bunch of multiplier onions. I want to talk about this really cool old uh, onion family member. Um, it's related to a regular bulb onion uh, with one simple difference. The multiplier onion grows in sets of about seven to eight bulbs um, per set. Uh, it's also known as a potato onion. Um, they have a more mild flavor than uh, your regular bulb onion. They also do not set seed and you have to plant multiplier onions um, from the little bulbs. Uh, the really neat thing about multiplier onions is that they are incredibly heat tolerant and cold tolerant. So you can plant them later than, you can plant two, you can make two multiplier onion plantings um, later than you would be able to plant a regular onion planting because it can take heat and then you can feel free to be a little bit lazy in the garden in the fall and let them get exposed to a bit of frost, it won't hurt them. Um, they're pretty frost tolerant variety. Um, it's kind of an old time variety. They're not grown as much anymore, but uh, it's a really nice uh, thing to grow in your garden. They're very easy to grow. They're incredibly pest resistant. And in fact, they make an incredible companion plant to lots of pest susceptible plants. Um, <clears throat> so for optimum storage, you'll want to leave these multiplier onions out in the sun for a few days to let the outer um, papery sheath dry up. And then you'll want to put them in a cool, dry place, like we have our storage area here, um, where each bulb has got a bit of room to let the air circulate. We won't have any mold. Storing onions in a, a closed container will cause them to mold. So we have them with plenty of space apart where the air can flow and it's nice and cool and dry in here so we won't have it freeze and we won't have it mold. Um, and in the spring, three weeks before the expected last frost, we will put these little bulbs back in the ground and you'll get another seven to eight in about 110 days.